Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, the airplane's coming back in for a refill here, so. We'll get the little pump that could go in again. Takes about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe to empty out a tank. And about the same to fill it, so. I've been staying here each time. Maybe he's having issues this time. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's staying on his AB line, that's why. So I've been staying here each time and uh, refilling chemical and going to get water with the truck. We're gonna have to go get water after this fill again, so. Get a little bit of water at first to prime the pump on the sprayer. Oh, don't have that on, right? There. Gotta get a little bit of water in to prime it first. So that it will suck the uh, handler dry each time. We're gonna put all that in and he'll be off again for 20 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty. Turn the secret switch on and... Power. Power when you put the choke on a little bit. <laughs> so, I'm gonna turn around up here and we're gonna go to the water hole and go pick up a couple thousand gallons of water again. So, I guess I'll talk to you when I get to wherever he threw the hose here this time. Well, we ran into an issue with the plan here. <laughs> Our slough we usually get water out of is too dry to be able to actually get the the funnel or the filter under the water. I threw it in as far as I could, about 20 feet. I walked right up to the edge and yeah, it's only maybe half of that deep. So I can't get it out far enough. You'd have to be out in the middle there somewhere to be able to get deep enough, I'm thinking. So I'm going to drive to the other end of the field and see if I can see one. Otherwise it's going to be an eight mile drive to where there's some water. So, oh well, not the end of the world. I'll see what I can find, I guess. But shows how uh, much drier it is this year compared to all the others. Ah, there, took a bit of doing, but I drove a mile or so up the road. You see that, or a couple miles up the road, that bin way over there, that's where we were. But I'm at the neighbors here, and there's a nice big slough right along this little road, so it was actually deep enough right there. So we've got the tank open. We're gonna crack this valve. Water from the tank will run backwards here and fill up all the hose to prime the system. And then when we uh, start the pump, we should have water right there to uh, start filling the truck. So give her a second to fill everything. There's usually still some air. But. It'll get her figured. Anyway, I'm gonna let that fill and we'll get sucking here. All right, we got air escaping from down there, so I'm gonna say she's pretty well primed up to the end there. There's still some air in it, but that's the best it's gonna get, so. my camera inside the water tank. I don't know if you can see anything or not, but... Hey, 
we shall catch Prime here right shortly. And we'll start filling the tank. Alright, we're pumping water, but had a neighbor phone who farms to the north of us and he said it's fucking pouring over there. That's that little bit of a funny looking cloud. I think it's kind of going, gonna go around us, but I just phoned Antoine and told him to stop spraying for a bit because uh, that Liberty Centurion I do believe is a half hour, 45 minute rain fast before it can get rained on, so just stop and wait a few minutes and see what that does. And we can go from there, but I'm gonna get the truck filled up here. We'll talk to you in a few. My cheap little piece of crap pump has been a piece of crap. <laughs> it's been really good up till about this year and it started having issues. It was uh, just pumping here now and died and I couldn't get her to go again so I took the air filter apart to make sure it wasn't blocked. I kind of suspect maybe there's something in the fuel line because I left it for a little bit to kind of settle out. Oh. There, just like that. Now she won't go. I'll leave it sit for a few seconds and see if it does something again, and if not, well, I guess we'll be starting to take some parts apart, see what we can find. I thought, I thought this was kind of neat here. The highway is soaked, but just back there on the road, it's dry. Just a couple, well, the, the mile up here from where we were uh, filling water, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought I'd show you how much it rained here. Uh, I always want to turn in that road, but it's not the right one. It's farther up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll see how much it rained uh, back by the trucks there. A uh, mile, uh, a mile to the east of where we are here right now. The storm came through like this at an angle, but, uh, where the rain is on the road is at a different angle than the way the storm was moving, so you can never really tell where the hell they're going, I guess. But, yeah, she poured here anyways. Everything's muddy again, so. I had the windows open in my half ton, so hopefully it didn't rain too much. <laughs> well, we took the uh, carb apart a little bit and the fuel line and Blew it out to the best of our ability, but never seen any junk. And the little motors, well, it's running, it finished the tank, so. Should be good, but anyway. So he's gonna go do this tank. That'll be another 30 acres, so he should be 100 and, I'm not actually sure where he's at. Over 100 anyways here, so. He's got a pretty good dint in it. He's better than half now, or a little better than half done now. So I was hoping we'd be done tonight, but I don't think it's going to happen because of the uh, delays of waiting to see if it was going to rain and then the way the little motor acted up. So, but it is what it is. It'll still be here tomorrow. We'll come finish it in the morning instead. And then we've got uh, uh, a little better than 300 acres of mine to go and then we'll be done other than maybe a second pass in my soybeans at a later date but anyway i guess this is where i'm gonna leave you make sure you hit that like button more important than ever that you do everybody else subscribe if you like what you've seen leave a comment below and i'll get back to you thanks for watching we'll talk to you guys in the next one